This is the fried man Mark Carter himself, again, here with my two cents. And this is how I would book tonight's Royal Rumble. All right, you've got the big show and Reigns, all right? I figure what I do is have big show go over. Um, now, Reigns is probably the fan favorite or the one they're trying to push to make look strong, but I would probably go ahead and and have Big Show go over because they're both going to be in the Royal Rumble match later on. And you got the Usos versus Miz Al and Damian Sandin. D Damian Sandow, all right, Miz Al. I figure this is where Miz Al and the Miz break off, break up, whatever, and uh, the Usos go over. I don't really care about this match. It's uh, going to be entertaining, I'm sure, but for the most part, uh, without without uh, without Miz Al in this match, I just absolutely wouldn't give a shit either way. A match I care even less about the. Uh, what is it, Nat Natty Nightheart and uh, I don't know that girl Paige. It looks like a vampire versus the Bella Twins. Okay, uh, this is where I'll probably take my piss break. But uh, I just don't care about anything that the uh, divas do. Uh, I think Paige has got a good look to her, and she'll probably end up turning on Natty. And uh, become a heel, and then, in my opinion, I figure there'll probably be three on one on Natty or something, and that'll be Natty's way of trying to compete for the uh, Divas title. I don't know. That's just a thought. Then we have the New Age Outlaws going against the Ascension. Uh, I don't know. I like the New Age Outlaws. I liked their last run in the WWE when they were the tag team champs. I really don't see anyone giving a shit if the Ascension were to win. So, there you go. That's my take on that match. Uh, we've got Brock Lesnar, John Cena, and Seth Rollins. in a three-way match for the heavyweight championship of the world. All right, well, I think the only reason they put Seth Rollins in this match was so that uh, John Cena could pin him or Brock Lesnar could pin him. Now, in an earlier episode of uh, My Two Cents, I said, cheer for Brock, cheer for Brock, cheer for Brock. And the reason why is because He's the only attraction they've got worth a damn right now, in my opinion. And, uh, yeah, he's a part-timer, but when he's on, he is on. And, uh, and we need to let him know, hey, Brock, we love you, man, because he's probably going to wind up going to the UFC. So uh, I, I'm hoping Brock Lesnar wins. Uh, given the WWE's history, they'll probably put over Cena. I don't know. I hope not. I'm hoping Brock wins all the way. All right. Now we get down to the main event. The uh, Royal Rumble match itself. And I believe it's going to be a two-way dance between uh, Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns. I do. And when uh, Dan Daniel Bryan is eliminated, people are going to shit on the match. And then if Roman Reigns goes over, they're going to boo louder than they did when Batista won it the year before. Because we don't want to have Roman Reigns shoved down our throats. He's just not ready. Uh, I want Daniel Bryan to win. Okay? Anyone but Roman Reigns. But if, if I had one person I wanted to see win, it would be uh, Daniel Bryan. Now, earlier I said the Big Show and Roman Reigns... You know, uh, Big Show would go over. I figure Reigns will eliminate him. All right? The Miz and Miz Al, they're also in this Royal Rumble match. So I I can see some story advancing between their split up. Either Miz will eliminate Miz Al and uh, people will boo the Miz. Or 
Mizal will become Damian Sandow again, thank God, and be the star that he's meant to be. I figure uh, the Mizal, uh, Damian Sandow will eliminate the Miz to cheers. So either way, it's just, you know, uh, surprise returns. Everybody's talking about Randy Orton, you know, and he could figure into the equation or whatever. But then... One name that hasn't been mentioned, at least I haven't heard a lot of talk about, would be, uh, what about Seamus? I don't know if he's injured or what his story is, but I'd love to see Seamus come back. And if anybody had to eliminate Daniel Bryan, what a great way to get some hill heat on Seamus. I don't know. That's another idea I have. So, uh... And that's my two cents on uh, tonight's uh, Big Royal Rumble. Kind of excited about it. It's my favorite pay-per-view of the year. And uh, I will be recording my first ever episode of The Mac Attack, which will be my review show of tonight's Royal Rumble. So be on the lookout for that. If you like this show, you think you're going to like The Mac Attack, I'm asking and hoping that if you're listening to this, you at least check out the Mac Attack. Um, if you like the content, subscribe to my channel. And if you don't want to watch all of my content, we'll go to my playlist on my channel called Fried Man's Rants and Reviews. And just like the playlist. And then you'll have uh, information on... Uh, my two cents and then my new show Mac attack which will be saved for reviews of pay-per-views and if Monday Night Raw doesn't suck too bad well then I'll do a review on a Monday Night Raw so be sure to check that out and uh, and if you want to get a hold of me just leave a message and I'd love to read your comments uh, alrighty until next time, I'll see you on the flip side.